Now that Israel is trying to resume international tourism, it's seeing a number of groups ready to take advantage. As Julie Stahl shows us, that includes an American group that brings Christian university students to the Holy Land. Passages aims to help Christian students discover their roots and more. This is the place where our faith as Christians was born. This is our heritage. It's our spiritual heritage. Executive Director Scott Phillips was part of one of the first groups allowed back into the country following the COVID-19 shutdown. We believe it's really important for Christians today, young Christians, uh, to make connections uh, with Israel, with modern Israel, with the Jewish people. We've got so much in common. There's so many shared values. As Christians, our faith exists because of the Jewish people. Passages has brought more than 8,000 university students to Israel since 2015. Now they hope to bring another 3,000 within a year. Passages is an organization that it's not just a nine day trip to Israel. It truly, I've been involved with many, many organizations all across the world and Passages more than any other invests in their alumni. It invests in the future Christians of um, America. This was Kennedy Lee's third trip. It's the same in the fact that everyone is out and about in the streets. Everything is so lively. Everything is moving and people really feel alive. You can feel the spirit of the people of Israel. But there are other things that have affected did Israel too, the recent 11-day war with Hamas, as well as rioting in mixed Jewish Arab cities in Israel. Israel, the people of Israel, have had a really hard last year and a half. Of course, the world has. But on top of that, a month ago, with uh, 4,500 rockets coming out of Gaza from Hamas into Israel, of course, all of the domestic conflict happening, the riots and so forth in Israeli cities throughout the country. We talked to a mother in Lod who tells us that she moves to this community specifically to raise her family, a place where Arabs and Jews live together in peace and coexistence. And now it is hard to look at her neighbors. That's heartbreaking. It's just something I never expected. And, and that even two years ago, it seemed like it would be hard to hear that in Israel. So I think that's something that is different and I maybe wasn't ready for. Lee said the passages trips equip her to speak to people people her own age. The younger generation doesn't speak in facts, and that's true, especially regarding this, uh, a topic that has so many just feelings and emotions. So for me, going home and being able to kind of be an ambassador for the people that we have talked to during this trip and take their emotion, I've felt emotion, I've seen it in their eyes and their demeanor and in their words, and to be able to take that back, to talk to my younger friends in America and just tell them, you know, I was there a few weeks after it happened, I actually know what is going on, and I'm so happy that passage is here with students and that we can do that. Phillips said the Israelis are glad to see them too. We're just excited to be back, to be able to provide some kind of joy. It gives us joy to be with our friends in Israel, and so we hope that we can give some joy to, uh, to others here. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.